Good morning, Jocelyn Center Facebook Live fans. This is Jack Newby, director of the Jocelyn Center. Just want to welcome you to our uh, Facebook Live interview Friday. Uh, in a few minutes, we'll be uh, talking with our uh, special guest today. Uh, but first, we want to let you know about some of the things that are coming up here at the Jocelyn Center. So uh, because next week is a holiday week, we will be closed on Thursday and Friday. So we want to remind you about that um, and wish you a very happy Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, starting up on December 1st, we have our Aging Mastery Program, uh, and that's on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and call 760-340-3220, extension 117, to register for that class. That is a great class that was developed by the National Council on Aging. Uh, and it talks about things that sometimes we don't want to get into uh, as we age and look at either living on a fixed income or thinking about retiring, but things like finance, relationships, whether that's with your significant other or with your family or friends uh, and how to develop new rate relationships, uh, working with uh, advanced planning. And a lot of times we don't wanna think about that either. So some of those things that we don't like thinking about, but fun things too, like exercise uh, and sleep with, us, with experts uh, and they're experts in all of these fields. So that's the Aging Make Mastery Program. Uh, and again, that's starting up January 1st. So you can call 760-340-3220, extension 117. And also coming up is our Brain Boot Camp. And that is a great class. It's developed by the UCLA Longevity Center. And that teaches you ways to improve your memory, ways to remember faces and names, uh, ways to remember grocery lists and other lists uh, and directions. Uh, and also it talks about the health and what you eat, how you sleep, uh, all of those things that affect your brain health. So if you want to keep your brain healthy uh, and also boost your memory, uh, in, enroll for our brain boot camp, and that's starting on December 7th. And then another, another part of that class is on December 14th. And again, 760-340-3220, extension 117, to register for that class. Uh, and please be sure you register. Um, also, our holiday luncheon is coming up, and that's on December 16th, on Friday from 12 to 2 p.m. Uh, ticket sales are underway, only $10 each, uh, and it's a great holiday luncheon. Uh, visits by Santa Claus and some special surprises. Uh, and that's here at the Jocelyn Center. There'll be performances, door prizes, uh, raffles, and just a lot of fun. So please join us for our holiday luncheon. And that's on Friday, December 16th. And also a very special thing we have continuing is every Monday and Thursday is our morning bites. Uh, so that's fresh fruit, uh, rolls, some uh, sweet donuts and other sweet things, juice, uh, yogurt, uh, just things to have you uh, enjoy an early breakfast and also socialize in our lobby. So that's just some of the things that are going on uh, here at the Jocelyn Center. We really uh, encourage you to join us. Uh, look at our website at jocelyncenter.org. Check out our calendar uh, or look under programs on our schedule or just drop by and pick up our schedule and find out. We have over 85 programs and activities each week going on and we'd certainly like to see you join us. So uh, that's it for what's going on in the Jocelyn Center. Just a few things and uh, we wanna thank everybody that attended our uh, Veterans Day uh, ceremony. We really enjoyed that. We really enjoyed the flyover from the uh, Palm Springs Air Museum and certainly celebrating uh, Uncle John's 107th birthday. So we're starting here and it's this is a kind of a fun uh, thought and it's traveling as we get older. And uh, most of us like to travel uh, and we're not quite sure how to do it or whether we want to discover new places on our own. And so Pamela Strand and she's with Premier World Discovery is joining us this morning. Uh, and Pamela Strand will be 
talking about uh, not only some of the uh, wonderful vacations and how Premier World Discovery works, uh, but also a special trip coming up uh, for members of the Jostin Center and other seniors in our community um, to uh, Sedona, Arizona. So that's coming up also uh, in the next several months. So Pamela, time to join us. That's uh, very good. How are you this morning? I'm doing great, Jack. I'm here in Santa Monica enjoying some nice cool breezes. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us uh, and the wonders of technology. You can be in Santa Monica, I can be in Palm Desert, uh, and we can let our community know uh, about Premier World Discovery. But tell us a little bit about yourself um, and your experience with uh, travel and helping people make travel plans. I would love to. I started in the travel industry over 20 years ago, a little bit by accident. I came across a job that was looking for someone that was um, really great at customer service and had the opportunity to go out and try to um, promote trips with senior active adults. And it allowed me the opportunity to travel all over the world in the past 20 years. Just in the past nine years, though, I moved from Boston, Massachusetts to Santa Monica, California, where I'm now with Premier World Discovery. And it's been a wonderful opportunity to get back into working directly with the seniors who are looking forward to traveling again. And over the past couple of years, as we know, things have been a little bit slower. And now we're really anxious to get back out there. And fortunately, no one ever loses the desire to travel. So I'm here to talk a little bit about that today. Well, when I was looking at your website, I noticed Premier World Discovery has travel all, all over the world. Um, one of my favorite places that I wanna go back to, Egypt, uh, and certainly uh, travel throughout Europe. Um, and uh, also a lot of travel opportunities here in the United States, which sometimes we forget when we're traveling. Um, so tell us a little bit about how uh, traveling with Premier World to World Discovery um, works? Well, it's very simple. Anyone that's interested in traveling as a group, and it's a perfect opportunity to put um, yourself in a place where you don't have to have a, a whole group of people that you know. If it's just you as a single and you'd like to travel as part of a group with Premier, uh, we have that opportunity um, to join in on a, a trip that's already prepared and all of the accommodations and all of the sightseeing is done for you. And so we really focus on the active adult senior who loves to be able to have a lot of inclusions and a lot of activities included as they as they travel around. And I think with um, with our seniors now and I I fit into that category now, so I'm very happy to say that uh, I'm part of the club, right? And I look at it this way, is that a lot of us want to go to these different places, like you had talked about Egypt. And when we think about traveling someplace and trying to organizing it on our own, it's very difficult. And it actually can be very costly to try to do that you know, as a, as a single person just or a double person trying to you know, go out and make all those accommodations themselves. But being part of a group, everything is taken care of from the start, you know, where they have the tour director with them for the entire duration of the trip and all the wonderful accommodations and meals and sightseeing. So it really becomes a nice opportunity for people to travel together. And if they don't know anyone, they're not traveling with strangers. They're just friends they haven't met yet. Well, and I can I can relate um, because I I uh, did a cruise in uh, Italy, but took spent a few days in Rome by myself uh, or with my partner, and we wanted to see Rome and making all those hotel arrangements and transfers from the airport, transfers back to the airport, transfers to the ship, all of that suddenly becomes very very expensive, very very complex. Um, and, you know, I think spending the time in Rome, we had a wonderful time and saw some sites, 
but I think there's some things we missed. And, and isn't that an advantage of going with a group is that you're with an experienced tour guide that can tell you about things that you can do while you're in a, in a location. Exactly. Because while some of those people are out there trying to travel independently, they're spending all that time looking at a map and trying to f- figure out where to go. Whereas we're on the comfort of a motor coach with a tour director giving us that educational experience as we're traveling around. And we're stopping along the way, you know, quite often where we're able to get out and really, you know, um, engage and experience those destinations and really have it that immersive um, experience. Yeah, I, I found, you know, going with with guides that are experienced and know what they're talking about uh, and can tell you uh, a little of the history about some of the things you're seeing uh, just adds a wonderful dimension to to traveling. It's true. And you look at it like this, where your tour manager can make or break the trip. Don't you agree? Oh, absolutely. And so to have one of the best tour directors accompanying you throughout the entire duration of that trip is so helpful. But it's also important that knowing someone is there for you 24 hours a day in case something should go up. And so it's important to make sure that you have someone that's knowledgeable, that's staying with, with the group for the entire time. Even when there's free time that's allowed, that tour director is still on hand offering some little behind the scenes things that they've experienced themselves. And, you know, it's really nice to know that uh, someone is there uh, accompanying you on that journey. And most of these tours, you know, because some people maybe want to have some time to themselves or or do some discovery on them with with themselves, um, most of these tours have um, free days, if you will, where people can discover a city or try a cafe on their own. It's so important to have that. And that's true, Jack. We're We offer a full breakfast every morning, so make sure that everyone's belly is full before they head out. And then during the course of that time, when we're out exploring, we usually leave that lunch time open so that they have a chance to be able to do some self-exploration. They can do a little extra shopping, or they can stop at a cafe and, and have something a little extra. And then we'll have some special dinners included as well, where it's not just going back to the hotel, but really immersing ourselves into the culture of that destination and having that local cuisine. And also when we do have these trips, they're usually there five days or more. And sometimes what we'll do is we'll have one free day where they'll have the opportunity to just stay back at the resort enjoy some free time or for those that want to continue on we might have an optional tour for them to take or they may just like to go out on their own and travel independently so it really allows travelers to be able to have a little customized experience during that brochure itinerary so premier world discovery has traveled all over the world uh but what i really liked about it is you know, looking at your website, there's also travel in the United States. And I think sometimes we forget that the United States has some incredible places to see uh, and to go and to experience. Um, and we're always looking, you know, across the Atlantic or across the Pacific for our travel when things close to home uh, could be just as rewarding an experience. It's so true. And 60% of our business Um, after the past two years has been domestic travel and where things were shut down when we started to open back up again that's when people realized you know I do want to still travel but I just want to be able to stay within the U.S. and they found that you know all of the different choices of of tours that we have to offer is allowing them the opportunity to really engage in our beautiful country. We focus a lot on the national parks where, um, you know, we'll take in either Utah or Yellowstone, Yosemite. There's all different types of um, tours that will be included. And that way, you know, they're able to really, you know, look forward to the next one after they've focused on one area. So for instance, with the Great Trains and Grand Canyons, we'll be staying in one hotel in Sedona, but we'll be then you know, visiting all the different um, areas surrounding that. So that's what's really fun. Another, there's another trip that does that in Utah where they'll spend 
uh, multiple nights in Moab. And it's just a short distance to be able to take in all those surrounding national parks. So this is what people like. And we have a lot of people that are like-minded, that love to travel together. And the U.S. has been just such an amazing destination. We have some theme tours, too, where if they like to travel around the holiday season and getting themselves into the spirit of the holidays. So the Rose Parade is one of the most um, popular destinations for those that are, you know, along the East Coast and the Midwest. So people are coming to California for uh, for the holidays. So it's been great. So you mentioned the the tour um, I, I forget exactly what the name of it is, but it's the one that's in Sedona. And that's the one that you're um, offering for our members and, and other um, seniors and older adults here in the Coachella Valley to uh, enroll. And tell us a little bit about that when it happens and, and a little bit about what people will see. Oh, thank you. Well, we um, decided that the first trip going out of the Jocelyn Center for next year, it's going to be departing on October 13th. So there's plenty of time to plan for that. And it's called the Great Trains and Grand Canyons. And what this encompasses is the tour will start and end in Phoenix. So they'll fly into Phoenix, which is nice short flight from us. And then what we'll do is we'll drive up to Sedona, which is about a two hour drive. It's a lovely drive. And then we know as soon as we enter into Sedona country, the Red Rocks, we'll be spending five nights at one hotel. And that's just a wonderful way to unpack and relax. And then each day we'll be taking different tours out, including two amazing train journeys. So tell us about some of those train journeys. I know I've been on one of them and it's just a really wonderful experience and seeing um, just a magnificent place here in the United States. It's so fun. And we arrive in the first train journey we take is arriving in Williams. So as we're traveling through Oak Creek Canyon, we'll then arrive in Williams at the train depot. And um, this is one of the most historic train journeys that the Grand Canyon Railway that takes you from Williams to the Grand Canyon. This was just a means of transportation for travelers with that were, you know, going to the Grand Canyon to stay. And so it's a fun train journey. Um, there's a little bit of hokey cowboy entertainment along the way but it's really fun and there'll be some music and people just have a great time well then um the train will stop right at where the El Tovar hotel is so it's right on the rim of the canyon they cross over and there they are standing there with this spectacular view and then the next train journey will be the Verde Verde Canyon. This is an open air car that travels along four hours of back country and then taking them into like all of these areas where there's cliff dwellings and there'll be you know a, a interpreter on the cart that will be really giving them the history and the geology and I love the fact that they're the car is open so that way they can stand outside enjoy walk around and it just becomes such a delightful and and one of the highlights of this trip. Well I, I can tell you you know I've taken that trip to uh, the Grand Canyon, and for people that have never seen it or uh, want to see it, it's certainly much easier to take the train than to drive and all the traffic that you run into uh, yes. going to the Grand Canyon. It's a popular destination. Um, the one you're talking about, the Via Verde uh, train trip, I think I'm going to look into that and, and take that. It sounds absolutely fascinating. And you know, I, Sedona is a special place for me. I call it nature's cathedral. Uh, the really first time is. I drove there, um, I turned, you know, I thought, what is this? It doesn't look too exciting. And then all of a sudden I turned around a corner and there were those beautiful red rocks. And I literally had to stop the car and get out. It was mm -hmm. amazing. And didn't you feel such a sense of peacefulness and energy at the same time? It, it's very peaceful. And you know, for those that... Uh, want to explore it there are um, energy circles that uh, you can go to or energy vortexes throughout Sedona uh, and they're part of the the tribal lore but also you know currently people go to those places and and really feel a very peaceful energizing experience it's so true and didn't you find too that and I know you've been several times and so have I I actually 
uh, tour guided this this destination for quite a few years. And what's lovely about this destination is one of those places where it's you can't wait to get back to. Sometimes we go somewhere and we say, okay, we've seen that. But Sedona is a place that we love to return to because we feel and get something different out of it each time. Yeah, it, it, it's a wonderful place. There are opportunities there even to see cliff dwellings um, and see them up close. Uh, and uh, the red Jeep tour or the pink Jeep tours. Pink, um, yeah. <laughs> there are just a lot of things to do in Sedona. And I would really um, heartily recommend this trip for anyone who hasn't been there or who hasn't been there for a while. Um, go back and, and experience Sedona and, and the Grand Canyon uh, because they're, they're all just, when you think about it, amazing, amazing experiences. And I will be coming to the Jocelyn Center to talk more about that live, and I'll be bringing a presentation to discuss that more in detail. And what is the date on that? I'll be coming on Monday, January 16th. That's a Monday, January 16th at 11 a.m. Does that fall into that, uh, the Sweet Bites time frame? Uh, just at the end of it. So at the end be, of it, okay. There'll be, there'll be people here. <laughs> Great. So yes, you had me at the donuts, Jack. So <laughs> I'll make sure to be there in time. Okay, get a little early because uh, it goes fast. <laughs> so Pamela, I really want to thank you for joining us today and telling us a little bit about um, your company and and the, the work that uh, the tour that you're putting on here. You know, it's a, it's been a long time since uh, we've been able to travel and and those restrictions. And certainly, I I can identify with the domestic travel because. You know, having to worry about your passport and getting on a plane and taking those long airplane rides, you know, can sometimes be a chore and spending the time here and exploring beautiful places here in the United States um, is really a delight for people and, and people can uh, do it at their own pace. So um, that's great. And wellness is our top priority. And we want to make sure people understand that um, that's foremost, you know, when it comes to traveling with Premier. And I'd like to encourage anyone that is interested in learning more about any of the destinations that we are offering to come to the Jocelyn Center on Monday, January 16th, and learn more about the Sedona trip. But I'm also happy to discuss any other trips that you may be interested in as well. Well, and people can visit your website at Premier World Discovery, um, and they can find that by putting that into their search engine uh, right. on their on their computer. And there are just all sorts of trips. I got lost during lunch the other day <laughs> exploring and looking at some of them. So um, I want, again want to thank you very much for joining us this Friday morning for our uh, Interview Friday television show for, for the Jocelyn Center. Um, People can view this on Facebook and also on our YouTube channel called Jocelyn TV. Um, so thank you again very much for joining us. Have a wonderful weekend uh, for all of our viewers and participants. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, we won't see you next Friday because that's a holiday, the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, after so Thanksgiving. we will see you the following Friday uh, for Jocelyn Interview Fridays. Thank you very much. Uh, Thanks for having me, Jack. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Bye now. Okay, bye.